One question that we get a lot here at My Pretty Posh Princess is what is the difference between acrylic beads and silicone beads? So today we're going to dive in deeper and I'm going to tell you why they're different and what projects you can make with these different types of beads. On the left we have 20 millimeter acrylic beads. On the right you see 12 millimeter acrylic beads. At My Pretty Posh Princess we carry a large variety of those sizes and others in multiple colors and patterns and designs. Let's dive a little bit deeper at the different types of beads that you can get. Please keep in mind that this is just some of them. So acrylic beads are made out of resin or plastic. They are not made out of silicone like the teething beads are. Some of the most common acrylic beads are solids, pearls, and rhinestones. Those are the top three most common beads. 20 millimeter is one of the most common sizes when you're making children's jewelry, followed by 12 millimeter, which is great for smaller pearls or for matching bracelets. Other common beads in the acrylic are the crackle beads, stripes, polka dots, push that up there, some polka dots, the chevron beads, those are pretty common, the ombres, those are pearls that are custom painted, we've got lace, here's some disco or fauceted, frost beads are super pretty, this is an example of an ice cube, here's a stardust bead, here's a UV bead, and here's an example of a printed bead. These examples are only a handful of the hundreds to thousands of different types of beads that we carry on MyPrettyPoshPrincess.com. You're gonna find that there are more patterns in acrylic beads than there are in silicone beads, but the silicone market is growing and we are carrying more and more patterns all the time. Another big difference between acrylic beads and silicone bead projects is the type of hardware or findings that you will use when you are creating projects. One great option that we have on our website is our All the Necessities pack. It comes with seven different items. It includes crimp tubes to close your necklace. It includes a wire. The tiger tail wire is very common. It's very popular. It's a really great product. It includes four different types of spacers in four millimeter, in six millimeter. It also includes some toggles. So you would string all of the beads onto your wire. You could also use a cord. You could also use nylon with acrylic. It's totally okay. However, you would not want to use this hardware with a teething product. This type of hardware is used to make products like this. Acrylic beads, while they are CPSIA certified, they are not safe to chew on. So I would not make this product for teething. You would not want to include any of these types of beads in a teething bead product. You would not want to use any of the acrylic bead findings on a teething or sensory project. However, one thing to note is that you can use teething things with acrylic projects. So if it's something that's not necessarily meant to chew on, however, you really like the look, the style, or the feel of a silicone bead finding or teether, you can definitely use it in an acrylic project like this. Now let's move along and let's talk about silicone. Silicone beads are most commonly used for sensory and teething projects. They're really neat because you don't necessarily need a whole lot of beads to complete something that looks really great. So first and foremost, when you're talking about teething, silicone beads feel really good on a baby's gums. So that's why silicone teething items are popular. The wood, it helps break a tooth through. So silicone soothes and wood helps break a tooth through. So you can use both in a project, they go together really great and they create a super fun finished item. Let's start with the beads. So most commonly you would use round beads. Here you see 12 millimeter, here is 15 millimeter, and here is 19 millimeter. These are the most common silicone beads. You see some wood beads over here, which again are really great for helping break a tooth through. And we have them in multiple sizes. 
All of our silicone beads can be purchased individually. So if you only need one soccer ball, you only have to buy one. We don't wanna make you buy more than you need. Everything seen here is available at myprettyposhprincess.com. Moving on, we have other super fun focal type beads. We carry 14 and 17 millimeter hexagons, as well as really fun printed beads like you see here. There's a camouflage and some leopard or cheetah, some Lisa Frank inspired, and some water slide beads. Something that makes silicone projects a lot different from acrylic projects are the type of hardware that you use. If you remember earlier, we talked about the tiger tail wire and the metal spacers and those metal or alloy toggles. It's going to be really different here for teething. You're going to want to use some sort of a cord, like a nylon cord. We carry lots of different colors. Two millimeter is my favorite, and you can see multiple videos in our five-part silicone how-to series right here on our YouTube channel. So definitely check that out. You'll learn how to make some projects using that cord. Another finding that you will need is some sort of a clip. So we have plastic clips, we do have some metal clips, we have binky adapter clips like this, and a variety of really fun different shaped or themed clips on our website and wood clips. So those would be the type of findings, as well as a safety clasp there. If you decide not to put an adapter on, you could do a safety clasp to make a necklace. So the findings are different for silicone, and you do want to make sure that you are using the proper findings so that the items that you make are safe. Here at My Pretty Posh Princess, safety and quality are our top priority. So all of our silicone beads are BPA free, food grade silicone, and we have all of the certification. It's available on the website, myprettyposhprincess.com. You can download it and you can print it. It's a 27 page report that goes in depth on everything that the beads are tested for and to show you that they pass. Another great thing on myprettyposhprincess.com, although the selection does vary as time goes on, are our kits. We have a lot of wonderful kits that include a variety of different things like this one. So whether you're making a silicone project or an acrylic project, you can find everything that you need on our website. I do hope that this tutorial has helped you learn the difference between silicone and acrylic beads as well as their findings that go with them. As always, if you have any questions, never hesitate to send me an email or to reach out on Facebook. I'm Marcy. Thank you so much for watching this video. And remember, you can find everything you need at myprettyposhprincess.com.